and acrylic Christmas pour is exactly what we need for this winter season. Coming at you in this video right now. Hey all, Wild for Games coming at you for my creative control playlist where I bring you the best tips, tricks, and even tutorials just like this holiday tutorial right here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing. I was fortunate enough when going out for my holiday shopping at Target that I found a couple of these cut out wooden Santas in the dollar section. So I recommend seeing if you guys can pick some up as well. They're really awesome and I thought, hey, what a great Christmas styled colored liquid pour painting we can do on this cut out Santa. So let me show you how I achieved this beautiful painting right here. I start out with some awesome red Santa trying to match his awesome suit that he wears and then I made a beautiful peach color for his flesh tones that I'm going to use for his face and then I'm going to use some titanium white which I thought would look good for his beard and the snowball cap and rim of his hat and I'm going to add a few little accents of silver on the beard and cap as well just to break it up. I've also added a few drops of silicone into each color to get some awesome swirls, cells, and effects that'll happen as we get these all mixed through thoroughly. With our paints all mixed, we need to prep our Santa canvas, lack of a better term. So I'm gonna put down some regular titanium white because this wood is gonna probably be a little porous and it's gonna prevent the paint from flowing naturally. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this paint and work it within my finger, making sure to cover the entire surface area. With our Santa all wet and ready to go, I'm gonna start on the brim of the Santa hat. And all I'm gonna do here is just add white to create that fluffy white look that would come from fur, but I'm gonna give it a nice accent with a little bit of silver, and I just wanna drizzle this in, so I'm gonna use my paint stir stick to give it a little bit of that accent color. I'm also gonna do the same on the pom-pom on the end of the hat because I want it to also look like cotton. I'm just gonna put down a little bit of white and a ribbon in some silver. And once I'm happy with my colors with how they are, I'm gonna pick up my Santa and kind of move it around to get those colors to lay in a proper spot that I'm happy with. Since I don't wanna contaminate a lot of my Santa with colors that I don't think should go in certain spots, I'm gonna use a straw to contain the areas that I want to have a kind of marbly effect. So I'm just gonna use a regular uh, straw here and just blow in the colors very gingerly, left, right, up and down in different directions and keep it contained in that particular area. Now it's time to give Santa a little bit of zing and some color. I'm gonna add this beautiful red that we made on top for his cap, but I'm gonna break it up a little bit by adding a little bit of white. In my mind, I'm thinking perhaps some snow is laying on top of his cap. So I wanna add a little bit of that because when I mix it, it's gonna look really awesome with that marbled effect. I'm also gonna put my beige color on for his face. So this way I can kind of knock two birds with one stone out. I've got a lot of peach here, so I wanna make sure I get some really good coverage because I wanna make sure it looks like an actual person in my mind. I'm also gonna get some of my nose while I'm right here. And in my mind, Santa's got a jolly red nose at the North Pole. So I'm gonna hit it with a nice little burst of red right here. In addition, I wanna give it a nice little highlight for a zing. So I'm just gonna dribble some white in there as well. Now let's pick up this and mix this all around. And normally I would do this in steps and let it dry, but I think it's gonna actually add a fun little wet on wet look here having all the colors intermingle with each other. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be fun. With a good foundation of color, now we can go back with our straw and start blowing in and making all these beautiful effects happen with the red going over the white and the white going over the red. And this is gonna create some beautiful crackle effects because some of that silicon will come up. And you can also fix mistakes too by blowing certain colors around with your straw. If you feel like you need to add anything else, feel free to throw in the colors where you need to have them. This is just a fun little painting, so it is your Santa. Do with him what you want and create some beautiful effects. Don't be afraid to touch it or move around certain things. Now it's time to give Santa's beard a little bit of life. I wanna make this 
nice and fluffy and have a nice weathered look. To achieve that, I'm gonna throw down some titanium white and then I'm going to ribbon in some silver from my cup here and add it towards the bottom and I'm hoping this will give it a nice weathered age look because our jolly old man here has gone through some strong seasons there with some little kids. With our color all laid out the way we like it, let's pick this up and tilt it in directions that we need to go to spread out that color. Be careful not to contaminate too many other spots that we've already put down. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit here and finish it off the straw to create those beautiful marble colors. I'm also going to try to get as many edges as I can. With Santa dripping in paint, now is a great time to go around with our finger and cover all the edges that we might have missed. Just use some of the color from the parts that are dripping down, or you can even take some paint from the cup with your finger and go all the way around the edges. This is just an easy way to make sure that we cover all of the wood that may be exposed. With all my paint in place, now's the time to finish off my Santa by moving all of that paint around to create some beautiful effects with my straw. Feel free to blow a little hard, a little soft, add a few little wiggles, some zigzags in there. All these are gonna create some beautiful different effects. Just make sure you don't blow too, too hard or you literally will blow the paint right off of your Santa there. And make sure to do this in small stages. If you're continuously blowing out, you could actually pass out. So go slow when doing the step. Don't forget if you miss any spots, don't be afraid to go back and fill that in with some more paint. I just like to use my paint stick to fill in some gaps or some edges, or if there's too much of one color, fill it in with another color. Don't be afraid to go back. And my Santa will need a final little touch, and that touch for me will be adding some eyebrows to him with some titanium white. This way I know he's happy and jolly, and it gives Santa a little more lifeness in him and I'm gonna have fun blowing the rest of this paint out. Well, our Santa looks awesome and jolly and there's only one final thing to get a final presentation on this and it is to introduce a little bit of heat. And this is gonna pull up all those extra bubbles to make them pop so the paint can fill in th into those gaps and it's gonna add a little bit of swirl effect by pulling that silicone up, creating cells, ribbons, and swirls, and even some crackles. So concentrate on where you want those effects to happen by leaving the heat there, but make sure you don't get too close or you can actually burn your paint. When you're all done with your Santas, make sure to set them aside in a place where they can dry for at least 24 hours, and then make sure you give it a nice clear coat so it has a beautiful wet shine to it. I did two Santas, I did one with silver and one with a little bit of gold in it and they both look great. Feel free to try any of these on your own with whichever colors you think would work best and feel free to send me a picture. I love both of these and they look great on my wall. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Hopefully this holiday acrylic pour brings a little extra joy to you in that you try it as well and if you do, Feel free to send me a picture. You can follow me on my social media. It's all below on Twitter and Instagram, or you can watch me paint all the time on Twitch. Or if you want to help support me, all the links for the supplies are down below in the description, or you can find my store to buy some art from me. All the proceeds go back into expanding and making this channel better for people like you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share it with your friends and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next painting tutorial next time. Take care. Peace.